Shiba Eternity was released a couple of days back and has been getting positive reviews on different app stores. However, there are some people that are still skeptical about the role of the game in the broader Shiba Inu ecosystem and don't feel confident that the game will do anything for the price of Shib. Well, in today's video, we'll be laying out the facts to find out whether or not Shiba Eternity will have a positive effect on the price of Shib. You already know that you have to stick around for this one. Disclaimer. Welcome back to the channel, Sheeb Army, and thanks for joining in for another video. If this is your first time on this channel, you're also welcome here. Here we talk about Shiba Inu and I give all the latest updates on the token as they happen. So if that's what you're here for, consider sticking around for longer by subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell so that you know when I post a new video. Now to the video. As I mentioned earlier, many are criticizing the Shiba Inu team for the Shiba Eternity release, claiming that it won't do anything for Sheeb prices. Even with all the impressive features that the game comes with, a lot of Shiba Inu investors are more concerned about Shiba Eternity doing something for the price of Shib. What's more, while some are saying that the game is too hard, some others are saying that it is too childish. The bottom line seems to be, though, that a number of Shiba Inu holders would rather Shibarium be launched than a game. In typical Shib Army fashion, holders have been making their dissatisfaction known to Shitoshi and the Shiba Inu dev team. One user wrote this on Twitter. At Shitoshi Kasuma, release Shibarium, stop wasting time, becoming child's play. Waiting for Shibarium for full Q3 and nothing. Plus, waiting years. Soon everyone gets tired and not need Shibarium again. Release that now or spoil it. So, there's obviously a lot of dissatisfaction right now in the community, but there are criticisms, right? Would Shiba Eternity really not have a positive effect on the price of Shib? Well, first off, there's no denying the fact that we need Shibarium to be launched as soon as possible. The singular fact that Shibarium will help to drastically reduce transaction fees with Shib shows how good it'll be for the price of the token. However, the fact that Shibarium will be good for the price of Shib does not mean that Shiba Eternity won't be. Both these platforms are not mutually exclusive. One of the major ways that Shiba Eternity will help with the price of Shib is in burning tokens. The truth is that whatever we do to pump the price of Sheeb, if we don't create scarcity, we would basically be wasting our time. So, whatever we do, we have to improve on Sheeb burns, which is what Sheeb Eternity will do. Before the game was launched, Shitoshi explained that a percentage of the revenue made from the game will be targeted towards Sheeb burns. He also talked about comparing the projected percentage burn to what other crypto games burn in order to have an idea of how big this is. Now, listen to what WCCF Tech wrote sometime last year. Should the project start utilizing in-app revenue to burn supply, it would dramatically scale up ongoing efforts to reduce 549.45 trillion SHIB tokens that remain in circulation. So, basically, the more people play the game, the higher the chance we stand to burn as many tokens as possible. This is what we should be focusing on right now, really. Also, it's important to bear in mind that the wider crypto market is bearish. Every crypto in the market is battling to trade in the green. So, we cannot expect price pumps to happen as quick and as crazy as it would have happened in a bullish market. But even at that, prices are already pumping and it hasn't been up to a week since the game was launched. What's more, analysts expect the token to pump some more as we draw closer to the end of the year. Of course, whether or not this will happen depends on a number of factors, including Shiba Eternity doing what it is supposed to do for Shib, which is to help burn as many tokens as possible. If that happens, and the other factors fall into place, experts expect the years following to be a lot better for Shiba Inu. Changely's predictions for 2025 see Shib's ROI increasing by a whopping 322%. Telegon supports this, even adding that Shiba Inu is likely to hit a new all-time high in 2025. Telegon particularly does not see crazy things happening with the price of Shib in 2022, but it is of the opinion that subsequent years will be the good kind of crazy for the token. Stretch these predictions to 2030 and they get even more exciting. Changely expects to see Sheeb's ROI to have spiked 2,878% in 2030, which is something that I would definitely love to see. These things can be sped up though and the timeline shortened. It just depends on all the factors that we already know falling into place quickly. And with Shiba Eternity already launched and Shibarium set to be launched soon, we might be getting that shortened timeline. At this point, you either agree with what has been said or disagree. Please don't forget to leave your comments in the comments section whether you agree or disagree. 
Also, please bear in mind that these are predictions, there are no guarantees here. So make sure to do your own research before making any decisions with your tokens. While you're at it, you probably want to know that whales have been on top of sheep, grabbing as many as they can, and it looks like they're preparing for a rally. But before we get into that, this channel has a daily giveaway of 100,000 sheep. For a chance to participate in the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. Hashtag Shiba Inu. Good luck. One whale recently purchased 100 billion sheep, which cost them about $1.1 million. It is really interesting that this purchase happened just a couple of days after Shiba Eternity was launched. It has to mean that this whale sees the potential in the launch and is preparing for a bullish run. Meanwhile, if you're looking to purchase more crypto like these whales, consider trying Fairdusk out. Fairdusk not only offers quick and easy transactions, there's also a wide variety of tokens there. Plus, you're entitled to a bonus for your first transaction. And everybody likes a bonus, so go try it out. Moving on from that, reports say that SHIB is one of the tokens to experience the biggest uptakes in holders. And apparently, this has a lot to do with Shiba Inu's stake in the metaverse. According to Cointelegraph, eToro stated that Mana and Sheeb saw the biggest year-on-year -year surge in holders in the most recent quarter, rising 437% and 269% apiece compared to Q3 2021. Speaking on this, Simon Peters, an eToro crypto market analyst, mentioned that although crypto markets have been difficult in recent months, the fastest risers indicate real interest in some of the most innovative projects in the past year. This just emphasizes a point that the Shiba Inu dev team has been trying to make for a while now, diversifying income. In trying to expand the ecosystem, the dev team has been branching out into areas that are not strictly crypto and this has, unfortunately, drawn the ire of some holders. However, with the crypto market the way it is now, it is becoming increasingly obvious, as this report just pointed out, that any crypto project that will survive this bear market has to have a stake in something outside of crypto. But what do you think about this? Please, tell us in the comments section below. Finally, a new way to burn sheep has just been launched. This new way was discovered by Travis Johnson, and it is via Fiverr. Basically, for every sale that you make on Fiverr through the Sheeb Superstore link, 10% of the purchase price will be used to burn Sheeb. So, you can do whatever it is that you usually do on Fiverr and still burn Sheeb. Just make sure that you're making those purchases via the link provided on the Sheeb Superstore website. This way of burning Sheeb is a lot like the Amazon affiliate method in that nothing has to happen to the tokens in your portfolio. You can do whatever it is you usually do on Amazon and now Fiverr, and still be helping to reduce the amount of sheep tokens in circulation. It's a win for everybody. Will you be trying it out? Please tell us in the comment section below. With that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.